So we're putting up the Star Trek tree, and I figured what better time than to show you guys my Christmas ornaments, Star Trek related. And what I like to do is I like to put them on a tree each year. It started out, there were a couple of ornaments that I had um, that was Star Trek, um, and before I knew it, um, I got so many that I ended up deciding I was going to put it on a different tree, and this is up in our bedroom. And we've got the Star Trek tree right there. So I want to show you some of my ornaments. And they're all Star Trek related. Most of them are Hallmark. So let's start with the one I got last year. One of the gifts from my wife. I got the, um, the tricorder. The Starfleet tricorder. And this is the keepsake ornament. Now I've done videos on all these, so I'm not going to take them all out of the box, but I want to show you the gen, the gen, um, my full collection, and i got a lot to get through. So we'll put that aside. Next one is the Mr. Spock Magic Voice in Light. And this is um, when he's saying shuttlecraft to any, excuse me, shuttlecraft to Enterprise. Happy Holidays. This is the Galileo. And is there a date on here? Anyway, I got a video on this. I, like I said, I've got videos on all of these. Next up, we've got the USS Reliant from Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan. And this one is the Magic series. This one does not plug into the tree. This one actually has batteries, as does the tricorder. The shuttlecraft actually plugs into the light on the tree. And I've got two of those. Let's see what else we got. We've got the USS Enterprise Star Trek. This is from the 25th anniversary of Star Trek 1991. And the saucers blinks. There are blinking lights around it. And this one actually plugs into the tree. Moving on, we've got the Enterprise C from Star Trek The Next Generation. Now, one of the ones that I'd like to get, um, I don't know if you guys are into the ornaments, but they actually have an Enterprise C as she appeared um, coming out of the time distortion from yesterday's Enterprise, all battle damaged, from the Romulan attack. And again, there's a video on that. And let's see, we've got from Star Trek Deep Space Nine. We've got the, I'm sorry, from Star Trek Voyager. We've got the Borg Cube. Resistance is futile. Let's see. We've got the USS Enterprise NCC 1701A. And this is the magic light. This one um, takes batteries. Incidentally, the board cube plugs into the tree as well. You can see some information on that ornament. And we go to the Klingon Empire. In Star Trek The Next Generation, we got the Klingon Bird of Prey. And this one runs on batteries. Very cool. Uh, what's next? This one is more recent. This one was really nice. Star Trek, the motion picture. Um, the, the Enterprise A actually has more lights. And it would have been nice if they would have taken more from this ornament to put into this one. But they're still both very nice. And they both run on batteries, by the way. 
And this is another one that I got last year for my wife for Christmas. And you guys got to check this out. It's really, really cool. The uh, transporter activates and they beam out and they beam it. Well, you know, the figures don't disappear, but the uh, transporter chamber activates. So you got to check out that video. That's really cool. Moving on, we go back to Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan. And this is really fun. This is the, um, when they're showing the view screen, the phases when the uh, Reliant attacks. So that's, this is a really fun one. That runs on batteries, by the way. And I've got two of the Klingon Bird of Prey. <clears throat> and we've got the Romulan Warbird. This is from Star Trek The Next Generation. And this one is really cool. It glows green. And you can see this one goes actually in the light socket on the tree. Moving on from Star Trek The Next Generation, we've got Admiral Riker's USS Enterprise. And this is from the episode All Good Things. I love this one. You can see she's got the third nacelle, and she's got all the weapons, that main cannon on the bottom. She can cloak. Admiral Riker had saved her from um, decommissioning, and he uses her as a flagship. I love that one. And we've got the USS Vengeance from the rebooted Star Trek series. I absolutely love this ship. If the Starfleet had a fleet full of these, um, it would just be, they would, they would, they could just dominate everybody. They wouldn't have any threats. I just, I love this ship so much. I'm not a big fan of the timeline, but I do like that ship. Moving on from one of the Star Trek The Next Generation movies from Star Trek Nemesis, we have the Scorpion. You can see this is what they, Mr. Data, and Captain Picard escaped the scimitar in. The scimitar is really cool. I'd like to see them make an ornament for that. But this is fun as well. And going back to Star Trek Voyager, we have the USS Voyager. The Magic Light series. And this plugs into the tree, I believe. Yep. And headed to Star Trek Deep Space Nine, we have the USS Defiant. Light and blinking lights. And this one also plugs into the tree. I kind of like the ones that plug into the tree better because they're all on. In order to get, out, get them all lit, you gotta walk around and push all the buttons. And I've actually got two of these because my wife had gotten me one for Christmas not realizing that I had already had one. But that's okay. And we have the keepsake, USS Enterprise, NCC-1701, my favorite Enterprise, my favorite ship, my favorite character. This one has a base. Um, if you want it to be activated, you actually have to put it on the base and there's batteries in it. Um, so when you hang it on a tree, it, it doesn't... Uh, it doesn't do anything except look beautiful. Let's see. Ah, we have, again from the Star Trek reboot, we have the USS Franklin. It's a really tough little ship and it goes through a lot. And this one is battery operated. Again, We've got another ship that's very, um, very likable, the USS Kelvin. And of course, in this timeline, it's um, Captain Kirk's parents were actually on this ship. And he was delivered after his mom had left the ship. Again, I'm not a big fan of the timeline, but I do like some of the ships. And this one is battery operated.
I got a box that I keep a couple of them in. Um, these are extras that I have. This is the USS Enterprise NCC 1701D. And it plugs into the tree and that one goes on a hook. I've also got another one of the Wrath of Khan. It's really fun. These I don't have the boxes for, but I do have them. So I got them in their own kind of box to the side. And the last thing I have in the box of, of the extras is I got something that my son had made me that I'm very fond of. Um, back when he was in high school, he actually made me a 3D printed version of the Enterprise. So what I did was I put a hook on it and, and I, uh, I hang it off the tree because I don't want uh, anything to happen to it. Um, the nacelles didn't form, but it was a f I think it was his first project. So it's very special to me. So those are the ones that I have in the box that I have the doubles of. Let's see. This one is, I love this one. This is from Star Trek The Motion Picture, and this is the Klingon Battle Cruiser, the D7. And that's battery operated, and that looks really cool when that's lit up. Um, let's see. And I have the USS Enterprise NCC 1701D. This one has the box. The Magic Series, and this one plugs into the tree. And going back to Star Trek, the movies from Star Trek The Next Generation, we have Star Trek First Contact, and this is the USS Enterprise NCC 1701E. Very pretty ship. And let's see, gotta be, is that it? Nope, I got one more. And it just happens to be a double of the Enterprise E. It features light. And that one plugs into the tree as well. So, let me take you down off of the tripod and give you kind of a little uh, tour. Okay, so as of right now, this is my collection of the ornaments, Star Trek ornaments. Really fun. And my intent wasn't to start out collecting a bunch of these. I just liked them. I got some different years. I'd get this one, get that one. And before I knew it, I had a collection of them. And I like putting them on a tree. And I had wanted to make my own Star Trek tree. So what we're going to do is we're going to put everything up on the tree. Okay, let's take a look at our Star Trek tree. We got it all decorated. Let's see some of the things that are on there. We can start with the NCC 1701A. I don't know if it's got batteries in it. Here we go. Look at that, beautiful. Look at that. This is what I was talking about. I wish the one I did for Star Trek The Motion Picture had the light up section on the bottom of the saucer section as well. Love that. Oh, and we got the Voyager. Below that, we've got a shuttlecraft. Shuttlecraft to Enterprise. Shuttlecraft to Enterprise. Spock here. Happy holidays. Live long and prosper. There's a button underneath. Come on in front of the speaker. Shuttlecraft to Enterprise. Shuttlecraft to Enterprise. Spock here. Happy holidays. Live long and prosper. And you can see the Star Trek The Motion Picture. Let me see if, uh, I think it might be on the top. Yep. I wish it would have lit up on the bottom of the saucer section like the A did. But it's still beautiful.
And down below, we've got the Kelvin. Oh, I guess I don't have the batteries. Well, they're dead for now. Below that, we've got the Wrath of Khan. They still haven't raised their shields. Raise ours. And I think I need to put new batteries in that one. We've got the other shuttlecraft down there. Coming around, we got the Klingon Bird of Prey underneath. And we've got the transporter pad. Love this one. Let's activate it. Nope, I gotta put batteries in this one. But I did a video on it, and it's really, really cool. And we got the USS Reliant. Again, I think there's no batteries in it yet. No. You can see how beautiful that looks. And below that, we've got the Defiant. Coming around, we've got the Enterprise E. And above that, we've got the Kelvin. Coming up, we got the board cube. Let's see, how do I activate this again? There's a button on the bottom. How cool is that? Coming up, we've got the Enterprise. And she's got the flashes going around the saucer section. And we've got the tricorder. I gotta put batteries in. We've got the other Enterprise. This is the one that had the base. So this one can't um, be activated unless it's connected. Coming up, <clears throat> got the Enterprise E. And we've got the Enterprise D. Moving up, we get the Enterprise A. The um, Romulan Bird of Prey, decloaking, ready to attack. And in the back, we've got the Romulan Warbird. And we've got the Scorpion, Mr. Data, Captain Picard. And you can see the Vengeance on the bottom. I love the Vengeance. Coming around, we've got the other Enterprise D. Galaxy class. And on the bottom we've got we've got the other Wrath of Khan scene, but we've got the Klingon Bird of Prey on the D7, excuse me. You can see it fire three times. From the beginning of Star Trek the Motion Picture. Now, my friends, is my Star Trek tree. And I'll be making a video very shortly, a very special one, something that I've got to go on to the top. So until that video, my friends, I'll talk to you soon.